الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علیہ نبی محمد وعلیٰ علی و صحبہ وسلم ام بیر حبت اللہ دا کوشچن واز آسٹ اباؤٹ اسٹینڈنگ ان پریئر ود دی امیم دیٹ اف اے پرسن ڈز دیٹ ون نائٹ اور آلٹرنیٹولی ول دے اسٹل ریسیو دا ریوارڈ سو آئی تھاٹ اٹ واز ویری امپورٹنٹ ان لوکنگ ان مائی ریسرچ ان ٹرائن ٹو فائنڈ دس حدیث آئی کیم اکراس another hadith which contextualizes that hadith as well as that hadith and, it, and it's an explanation uh, by Imam bin Uthaymin so I thought it was important that we study this hadith this very important hadith that we mention always about Ramadan you always hear and this is the hadith on Abi Hurairata radiallahu ta'ala anhu and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal min qama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaban gufira luhu ma taqadam min dhimbi متفقون عليه this hadith in Bukhari and Muslim the hadith of Abi Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said whoever stands in Ramadan uh, meaning standing for Salat iman and واحتساب with full belief full iman واحتساب and expecting the reward of Allah سبحانه وتعالى غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبي then This, all their sins will be forgiven uh, all their previous sins will be forgiven in this hadith of the Prophet وسلم, Ibn Uthameen mentions some uh, excellent benefit as this great imam and I can't uh, uh, I hate to say use the word praise him enough but he was a great great imam that any talab al-ilm in this time should have his books and benefit The first benefit that this great imam, Rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatullahi wa asiya, said regarding this hadith, he said, Hef ala qiyam al-Ramadan. First, we learn from this hadith, one of the benefits is that it encourages us to uh, stand in the in the prayer during the holy month of Ramadan. Uh, and that, that we should be vigilant in doing so. Another benefit of this hadith He said, it is also, it points to the importance of ikhlas and that that has an effect upon uh, one's reward. That ikhlas, sincerity, has an effect upon one's reward. And this ev- is evidence because in the hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu said, iman, and, uh, you know, with regards to uh, iman, you know, uh, having faith in that uh, reward and it bin Uthameen he says أي أنه لم يقوم لأنه عادة أو لأن قومه يقومون بل قام إيمانا بالله عز وجل وإيمانا بما وعد that the person this term that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم by saying إيمانا that the person stands إيمانا this refers to uh, that uh, it refers to sincerity through iman, that belief, because it does not refer to uh, standing, which is the habit of a person, meaning standing in prayer, they just pray just just because they do, it's a habit. Oh, it's Ramadan, let me pray, tar away. Uh, or qiyam al Or that just because their, it, their people do it. You know, you're in Saudi Arabia, for example, everyone in Saudi Arabia, or not everyone, but, you know, some of the people, or lots of people, they go to the masjid and pray tarawih. There are many men who, men and women who do that. So then you just do it, and it's a habit. He said, rather, standing, uh, believing in uh, at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and believing in his promise, meaning his his promise of, uh, of reward, believing in his war, expecting reward, believing in it, And believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That that is, and that's what goes back to this fa'idah, which is sincerity. So this is pointing to the importance of sincerity, having ikhlas when you are uh, in all acts of ibadah. Another benefit of this hadith is this hadith also uh, it points to the truthfulness of the reward of Allah azza wa jal. And this is in the, uh, found in the statement, فَإِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا إِذَا آمَنْ بِهِ 
he said, and this is fa um, this is evidenced in the hadith where, uh, where in the part of the hadith where the Prophet ﷺ said, Ihtisaban, you know, expecting reward, <laughs> expecting. And he said, and, and a person cannot expect something except that they believe in it. So this is uh, an affirmation of having truthfulness or being true, uh, believing the reward that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give a person. That this shows that a person is, uh, that they believe in uh, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised. Another benefit of this hadith, uh, this hadith also shows that a person does not receive this great reward except for having both of those characteristics, iman wa ihtisab. Uh, and he said, that unfortunately many people they miss this point with ihtisab uh you know to to see to to expect uh the reward from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said because many people they do righteous deeds just because they are righteous deeds however very few of them look to the, do those deeds expecting the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Doing that, you know, consciously expecting, uh, you know, reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Instead, they just do it because they know it's a, a good righteous deed. And he said, an example of this is that when people make wudu, he said that this entails three things. He said first, that it is uh, following the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayu ladhina amanu, idha qumtum ila salat, faqsilu wujuhukum. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, O you who believe, if you, uh, you know, prepare for prayer or stand for prayer, then wash your faces. You know, this is the ayat of wudu. So this is the first uh, important uh, important condition that must be in place when seeking the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First is that you are following the command of Allah. Secondly, that you're following and doing it in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he said, thirdly, is ihtisab, uh, that the person, for example, uh, makes the wudu in order to expiate their sin. So they're conscious. They're they're with every drop, every drop of water. They're 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 ex ex expecting that this is an expiation of their sins and this is forgiveness. Another benefit of this hadith is that standing in the month of Ramadan in the manner that the Prophet ﷺ described, Iman wa Ihtisaban, that this is the, that the person will be forgiven from their, uh, their minor and major sins. And this is the general understanding. This is what we understand by that left. You know, it's muhtamil. You know, or, you know, if the general understanding, the apparent meaning is that it's both. But we also have other hadith which show that this is, uh, that this uh, is referred to the, uh, the, the, the minor sins. Because the major sins you have to make a toba for. Uh, another uh, benefit of this hadith is uh, that uh, 
that a person, uh, of course, should be seeking that thawab, seeking that reward. And in another uh, hadith, as far as the issue of standing with the imam, that a person stands one night and misses another night, for example. In uh, the Prophet wasallam said, من قام ما الإمام حتى ينصرف كتب له قيام الليل That the one who stands with the imam until he finishes, until he, he leaves, حتى ينصرف uh, then he will be re he will have the reward of Qiyam al layl okay so w regardless of whether this is uh, this lets us know that regardless if that is one night or every night so one night you have the reward of one night if you miss the other night then of course you don't have the reward of of that night of Qiyam al layl with the imam you know if you prayed at home then that's different but if as far as the reward of uh, of being in jamaa then you don't have that, uh, the, the night that you missed. And also, in regards to this, uh, another faida or, or benefit is that that, for example, if a man, he prays tarawih with the imam, and then when the imam stands for witr, because you find this a lot of times, certain masajid, they pray a lot of rakah, maybe they pay, uh, you know, 20 or more. And some they pray, uh, you know, pray uh, 12 and then the one for, for witr. And so on and so forth. And Imam Bunafimin, he mentions that if a man prays the tarawih with the imam, and then when the imam stands for witr, that the man leaves, then he brings this up as a mas'ala. Does he receive uh, the reward of qiyam al-layl? He says, إِذَا انصرف عن الإمام في tarawih قبل أن يُتر الإمام لا يكتب له qiyam al-layl وإنما يكتب له ما قام من الليل فقط. So, in this situation, the person would not receive the full reward, the reward of uh, the Qiyam al-Layl, of standing in the night prayer, but rather what would be, what they would receive would be from the reward of that which they did pray with the Imam, because they prayed, for example, 12 rakat, and then they got up and left. And they so they didn't complete Qiyam al with them with the Imam. So of course they're still going to get reward, but it isn't the same as the full Qiyam al layl as you would have gotten with the Imam. And I hope that that is uh, something beneficial. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything that was correct, anything that was correct is from Allah Anything that was incorrect is from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.